and let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you. I do. Why do you eat vegan? All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it is reaction time. Today, we have Tess back. What I eat in a day, vegan and easy. Let's do it. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Welcome I back. Exciting news once again that, that the vegan bundle is back and it's better than before. You are not going to want to miss this sale as this is the last time it will be available. And after I'm going to pass. So now I'm going to be showing you how I have been enjoying the ebooks in the bundle over the last month and show you some of my favorite ebooks in the bundle in this video. So let's get into breakfast. All right. Breakfast, so it's an I'm extended a advertisement. From the ebook The Wholesome Life by Elsa's Wholesome Life. It is a summertime smoothie and made of the other day and I'm just craving it. It's very hot today, so it's very refreshing and delicious. She has very bad skin. That comes from sugar overconsumption. Yes. There we go. More sugar. Coconut water packaged most of the time is pasteurized, therefore really not good for you. So I got my smoothie and I'm so hungry. Always. It's like the perfect summer treat. No, it's like the perfect sugar fix. No nutrients were seen that given day. All you ate there was just sugar with a little bit of vitamin C. It's the worst start of the day. You have no building blocks. If you would replace this with simple scrambled eggs, you would get vitamin A, vitamin K2, vitamin B12, and super bioavailable protein. Now I'm making a recipe from Ellen Fish's ebook, Epic Plant Powered Kid Food. The recipes in there are so terrible. Epic kid food, vegan and kid food is a contradiction. Veganism is a fast. In Christian orthodoxy, we call it the Lent. You go plant-based for a while as a fasting practice, not to nurture the body. And guess who is excluded of the fasting practices? Kids, of course. Very delicious. I'm making the classic mac and cheese. I love this ebook and I love what Ellen Fisher does. She's very inspiring and her family is so beautiful and her children are adorable. It's terrible. Um, so, this ebook is definitely for you if you have children or just looking for some delicious, easy recipes. Okay, let's see what we're gonna feed the children. So, we have carrots and potatoes, or is it cauliflower? Either way, just starchy carbohydrates. Nothing more, nothing less. Then we have cashews. Cashews are super toxic. So toxic indeed that they burn off the hands of workers. But at the other side of the world, this little nut has become a nightmare for thousands of women. The rest of the work is even harder, and it's done entirely by hand. The shell and the skin of the nut are difficult to remove, and inside them are highly caustic acids that burn the skin. The women's hands are badly damaged. There you go. Please proceed. Nutritional yeast. Again, such a contradiction, such an oxymoron. Unbelievable. What is nutritional about yeast? Please, guys, use your brains. What is nutrition in the human body? Only fats and proteins are essential. Carbohydrates are non-essential. Yeast is non-essential as well. So how can it be nutritious? Uh. Fantastic. Yuck. Absolutely repulsive. We already know that vegans try to replicate animal foods. In this case, of course, the dairy. This is already slave food. It is pasta with a little bit of cheese in its original form. This is what the slaves ate back in the day to get a little bit of protein, a little bit of saturated fat, a little bit of K2. This is what this was for. But now we take out the only nutritional part of this recipe and replace it by what? By cashews. Cashews are full of lectins. They will destroy you. Oh man, 
sad because we didn't get enough oxalates. So I got my lunch, Let's add spinach. This mac and cheese. Terrible meal. Why would you feed that to children? Shame on you. And let me tell you, it is so delicious. Ah. <sighs> For dinner tonight, I'm making a recipe from the ebook Vegan Kitchen by Foodie Takes Flight. I am obsessed Let's with the ebook, and this recipe is on repeat in my kitchen. So, the, my two favorites in the book are stir fried sweet chili tofu uh, and stir fried sweet lime glaze. Phytoestrogen bomb. Tonight. So, here I have the sauce prepared. I am short like a tablespoon of soy sauce, so it's not exactly the same, but it's still so delicious. Mm. And I have the tofu, which has salt, pepper, and cornflour over it. And then some pak choy, uh, capsicum, mushrooms, uh, and what vegetables are called right now. <laughs> all right, all right. So if you want to eat plant-based and you don't want to waste away right away, then you need protein. Of course, soy is the poison of choice then. Soy has a pretty high plant protein content and is therefore used readily by vegans and by Asian vegetarians alike. However, it comes with a ton of phytoestrogen. Only in the West, people started eating so much of it. If you look into Asian cuisine, I lived in Thailand, you will see that they use tiny little amounts of tofu. If you eat tofu in high amounts, you will disrupt your hormones. Not a good idea. <laughs> and then some red onion. And I've also cooked some brown rice noodles. So I'm just cooking up the tofu. I've added a little bit of sesame oil just to make it brown a bit better. It's hysterical. You have no micronutrients in this meal. You have the rice noodles, therefore you have carbs. As I said, carbs are non-essential, so therefore it is up to you to decide if you want to eat them in the first place. Then you have another macronutrient, mediocre plant protein in this case. But you have no micronutrients. Do you understand this? You have no B12. You have no vitamin D. You have no vitamin E. No vitamin K. Two, you have no micronutrients. Now you delude yourself into believing that you have phytonutrients through the vegetables and somehow this is healthy for you. Phytonutrients lead to hormesis. Hormesis is a stress reaction in the body, a minor stress reaction that therefore allegedly makes you more resilient. The same can be achieved with fasting, with sauna, with working out. There is absolutely no point for vegetables. <clears throat> it smells delicious, it tastes delicious, <laughs> and it's probably one of the best recipes for like at home Asian food. If you get the bundle. No, one of the best recipes is a steak. We'll definitely make this recipe first up. For dessert, I've made some of my fudgy brownies from OC Vegans Vegan. simply live off junk oh. food. That's it. The best brownie recipe. It's gluten-free, refined sugar-free, oil-free. Freaking amazing. It's really great. It looks Both pretty dry. Straight from the oven. And also if you put it in the fridge the next day when it's cold. Mm. Oh my god, it's just even fudgier. I'm going to head off to bed now. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to I click did the not. below to get the vegan bundle and make use of this sale as it will not be coming back. No I hope thanks. You enjoy it and let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you. I do. Why do you eat vegan? In my next video. Bye. Bye bye. All right, and this is it. Just a quick one today. As you just saw, no nutrients were seen that given day. Absolutely ludicrous for such a young girl to come to the conclusion that she wants to starve herself eating only plants. I heard she comes from Australia. Veganism is pretty trendy over there, even when I lived there. In 2016 or so, it was already pretty trendy. I can only imagine what is happening now, she, like so many others, is the product of brainwashing. This is why I run this channel, to save young people 
from this delusion. All right, guys, but this is for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And guys, if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. If you want raw grass-fed liver, but you cannot stand the taste, Grassland Nutrition has the solution. Grassland Nutrition takes grass-fed organic beef liver raw and freeze-dries it for you. It is a convenient, fantastic way to get the nutrition of liver without the taste. We have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic, no matter if it is health, lifestyle or nutrition related. On top of that, by joining, you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide. It is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition, but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals, no matter if you're keto, primal, paleo, or even raw. All right, but this is it for today. Thank you very much for your support, guys. And as always, much love and peace.